Okay, so in today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to float like this in Final Cut Pro X. So let's get right into it. Okay, first you will need two shots. You will need a shot of just the background of your area and the second shot of you giving your best floating impression. You will also need Pro Puppet from pixelfilmstudios.com. So just go to pixelfilmstudios.com to get that plugin. Now, when you give your floating impression, make sure that all four limbs are visible throughout the shot. Now that you have your footage in Final Cut Pro, we are now going to separate them. Um, we're going to separate them by putting the video of the clean slate with just the background. And we're going to separate that from you doing your floating impression. Now you're going to look for the best pose that you did for your floating position so we can freeze that frame. You can cut the rest of the clips that you don't need. Once you find the best position for your floating impression, um, you're going to go to this icon right here and you're going to press hold and that will freeze the frame for you right there. And you can stretch it out as much as you want. After you do that, you're going to cut it again and you are going to line these clips on top of each other with the floating one on top of the clean slate background. Next, we are going to go to the effects tab and we are going to go to our mask. Once we put our draw mask on the first clip of you floating, we are just going to zoom in so we can get a precise mask. And I'm gonna speed through this, but take your time and mask accurately so the effect will come out better. We are going to go to the Pro Puppet tool from Pixel Film Studios. And we're just going to drag that on top of our top clip. Now that we have the Pro Puppet tool in our timeline, we are going to stretch it out to the length of the first clip. Should be a drop zone right here in the toolbar. You're going to click on that. Now that you've got that, you're going to click on the top floating clip and you're going to press apply clip. After you have applied that clip, you can go ahead and delete the floating clip because um, the clip that you just applied is in M-Puppet now. Okay, now you can make adjustments to the X and Y axis according to your footage, wherever you want to place the floating object or person. And you can scale the footage as well if you need to. Now, after you're done scaling, we're going to hit Generate Mesh. Okay, so when we generate the mesh, you're going to want to do one on the head area, the neck area, the arms. the waist and the legs. Okay, after that, we wanna make sure our playhead is at the beginning of the timeline uh, because we're about to start keyframing our meshes. So we're gonna click on this little diamond shaped tool to make that highlight yellow. And once we have that, we are going to put our playhead towards the end of the clip now. And now this is where we animate our puppet tool right here. So we're going to zoom in if you want to, to get an accurate um, puppet tool movement. And we are just going to, I'm just going to mess with the arms a bit and the legs a bit. And I'm going to push my head back just a tad. Okay, now after you feel like you moved your limbs to where they need to be, 
you will now just play back that footage just to see if you're okay with it and if you're okay with it now we're going to highlight everything and make a compound clip by pressing option and g at the same time okay now after i get my black and white filter which looks pretty good right now I am going to add another effect, which is one of my plugins, which is the Glint Light Effect plugin, which makes everything angelic, a dreamy type of effect. So I'm just going to add that on to my clip. And the last thing we will do here is we are going to have a zoom pan to make this effect look a little bit more realistic. So we're going to go to our transform toolbar and we're gonna add a keyframe to the position and we're gonna add a keyframe to the scale. And we're gonna push our playhead all the way to the end of our timeline and adjust accordingly to however your film is. I'm gonna scale it up a little bit and push it up on a Y axis. Now, if you play that back, it should have a slow zoom pan going. And that is how you do the floating effect in Final Cut Pro X. I want to appreciate you guys for tuning in today. If this video helps you in any way, consider liking and subscribing to our channel because we will be dropping a lot of content soon. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you.